<laughs> welcome to Tecmo Tuesday, and welcome to week number 12 of the 1977 Tampa Bay Buccaneers Tecmo season, where we, will, where we will be taking on the Chicago Bears in a battle for first place in the Central Division. Let's see what happens here. The Bengals lose to the Chiefs. The Rams beat the Raiders. The Cowboys uh, beat the Eagles. The Jets lose to the Saints. The Chargers lose to the Browns. The Steelers get beat by the Seahawks. The Dolphins lose to the Colts. The Vikings beat the shit out of the 49ers. The Patriots lose to the Falcons. Fal Falcons got their win. They have their one and only win. And now, uh, you know, they can, they can be happy about that. So... The winner of this game will be in first place of the Central. The Vikings will be a game behind whoever loses this game and falls into second place. So everybody will be a game within each other there. Uh, yeah, Lions and Packers starting to fade away from uh, from the rest of the division. Anyway, here it is, folks. The This is a huge game right here. Bucks and Bears. <laughs> Never really became a huge rivalry when they were. Um, I will right, kick off, of course. Always like to do that. Um, yeah, I mean they, you know, like throughout the you know 25 or so years that they were in the NFC Central together, they just never were both, you know, really good at the same time for it to be a rivalry. And it was either they both sucked or. The Bears were good. Um, or for a couple of times, sometimes the Buccaneers were pretty good too. They, in the late 70s, you know, this was 77, but like in 79, 80, around that time, the Bucks were, uh, Bucks were definitely put together a good team. And the Bears, of course, in the, you know, early to mid 80s. Nice sack there. Uh, you know, throughout the 80s, they had they had a, a strong team that got a Super Bowl out of it, and then throughout most of the 90s, most of the 90s, both teams weren't that good until um, the Bucks toward the end. Let's see if we can get this blitz. We got a blitz, and we got a safety. All right, that is a way to do it. And a nice uh, return there. So we got two points on the board. Ready, down. Hunt, hunt, hunt. And we're going to get... Oh, shit. We, he ran right through the freaking blitz. I do want to ch take, a, take a quick check at my runner's... Uh... Yeah, I think I'm going to keep these two guys in. Bell is not doing so hot. Yeah, it's going to be Dubos and Williams for sure. I gotta check these things before games more often. I'm always just so excited to get it, get in and get going. Oh boy, everybody's covered. Just gonna run with the quarterback for a bit. And I got the first out. Hey, that was a very late hit out of bounds. That was way worse than the Mahomes one. But then again, this was 1977 where they just didn't call penalties very often, again, as far as protecting quarterbacks is concerned. Oh, shit, I had, I was ready to throw it to, uh, Owens up there. Nice, just, nice job of just evading the attack. Oh, shit! This is what I was afraid of, you know, it's like I, but I did it anyway, I kept, I just kept running, I didn't go out of bounds. Losing my fucking quarterback. Oh, boy. Ready? We're already fairly limited in the passing game as it is. We don't get a lot of big plays, and that is a freaking tough. I'm going to kick a field goal. I mean, I have a, a ice-cold quarterback coming up the bench. I'm not going to put the ball in his hands on fourth down. And they're going to know it, so, you know, just take the points. Be happy with it. It's unfortunate. You know, we got. I had a chance to go up big to start the game, and instead it's only going to be a five-zip uh, lead after those two possessions. But... You know, Let's see how it goes. I mean, we're going to get. I'm, I'm, I'm calling all runs. And I'm calling all the Peyton runs because I do not want to get run over by the best running back of all time. 
And of course, that opens the door for guys like Scott to make big plays downfield. Alright, I call the split backs play. And it's not the same run. And it's Harper instead of Peyton. They're using him as a decoy. Ready, down! Alright, another nice defensive play there. Third and six. Shit. Ah. I was there, I was close to him, but he was, you know, beyond the marker for by quite a bit. Alright, there we go. The drive wasn't really going our way to the way it was looking. Ready, down. Hut, hut. All right, first down. Ready, down. Hut, hut. Oh shit! Here they come. Yeah, they they knew exactly what was happening there. Oh boy! All right, so we've got ourselves a backup quarterback um, with a second and long situation. And another late hit out of bounds. Boy, these these bears are bad news. Bad news bears, I guess. Oh, the defenders got me and fucked it up just in the nick of time. I was hoping that I'd hit him in stride and then he'd, you know, cruise to a first down. Ah, oh, just a bit too much. Just a bit too much. Oh, shit. I do not know. Do not let Sweetness go. No. Yeah, just catch up to him. Let the, oh, look at this field position. All it took was one play. All I had to do is hand it off to to, to Payton. Did the rest. That's why I, you know, like I said, I've been calling all. It's all I've been doing defensively is calling those runs. But that time they called the one that I didn't pick. All right, we got ourselves a nice stop there. Third and fifteen. You can't stop him, you can only contain him, but that was a nice stop behind the line. Man, he makes the fucking catch. I, you know, it's Walter Payton, what the fuck do you want? This is why he's the best running back of all time. Because not only could he run, not only could he uh, block, but he could catch. A lot of the backfield. I'm not running, I'm not rushing the defenders up the middle on the field goals or the extra points anymore. I get through too easily. It's kind of the same thing as the quarterbacks. I don't rush the quarterbacks because I can break the game. And I don't want to win a game by a, a point when I have a decisive advantage over the CPU and a broken kind of game. I wouldn't say it's broken because some defenders you can't run through. But, you know, it's like it's it, it defeats the uh, realism. Ah. All right, so we got about a minute to get some points. Hopefully, a touchdown. But it's gonna be tough with our, uh, you know. All right, get out of bounds. Stop the clock. There is time. There is time. Ready, down. Shit. Fuck! Ugh. Alright, I'm taking a field goal. Fuck. Shit, this is a long one. Alright, down the fucking pipe. I was like, oh, should I call the timeout? Should I try one play?
Eight to three. The uh, t the Tampa Bay Rays are beating the uh, Cubs. Or the White Sox. Ooh. You know, it's... Uh, I gotta give Blount some credit. He's doing fine as a backup. You know, he, the limited amount of passes that I've given him and Haggins with another nice return. You know, a field goal even on this drive, another field goal is not bad. All right, breaking some tackles. I mean, didn't get a lot, but, you know, every yard freaking counts. Um, Ready, down. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Yeah, we would be up eight, which is a two-score game in this, uh, you know, Ready, 1977 down. Tecmo. Hunt, 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 even regular Tecmo is not. Oh, it took forever to get there, but he got it there. And now we are in really good position. Alright. Let's cash in. Oh boy. He came swarming in, but we broke free. Got some yards. Alright, second and eight. Technically, it's not second and goal. Everybody is covered. And look at the backup QB running in himself. Huge, huge play. I mean, like I said, a field goal would have made it a two-score game too, but now they have to score touchdowns. And our defense has been very solid. Despite the fact that, you know, at any given time, Walter Payton can break through and he, yeah, he did that one play. And there it is, called that one. I was afraid of that particular play. Oh, they're going deep. Nothing doing. Defense doing its job once more. All right, good job, defense, keeping Walter Payton in check today. You know, there was that, like I said, there was that one play where he broke through and got a shitload of yardage, set up that field goal. But since then, uh, and even before then, uh, there hasn't been a lot of big plays for him. So a minute five left in the third. Ready, down, hunt, hunt, hunt. Still, but it's still up a lot of time, so you know, not in the, out of the woods here necessarily, but. Oh, shit. And this doesn't help. Jimmy Dubose is going back to the hospital. And now we've got three injured bucks. Two injured running backs and one quarterback. So this is definitely going to hurt. Ready, down. Hunt, hunt. Especially since we're at the home stretch of the goddamn season. Look at this. Everybody is covered. There's so much freaking real estate. And I know that they, you know, it's not going to let my quarterback get hurt if I have no other quarterbacks. Once you're down to the last guy that you can sub in, they, you know, it's impossible for the freaking injuries, but there is possible fumbles. Thankfully, we freaking return. Jeb Blount, the quarterback, uh, you know, Johnny on the spot with that recovery. Oh, shit. And Hicks with the sack. That was a rough couple of plays there, and I was third in a mile and a half. Ready, down. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Owens for the end zone. Oh, it was in his hands. It might have been like a tad overthrown, but and I'm not kicking. I know I, I possibly could get this field goal, but like really a field goal doesn't buy me a lot. It's a, well, actually it would. 15 points makes it a three score game, but I'd rather punt it. Make sure I pin them down there, which I almost didn't even end up doing, despite the fact that I punted to the one. Because um, now I have to make him go the whole field. And they're going to have to do it more than once because, uh, you know, they're down to the touchdowns. Oh, shit. You know what? It could be Peyton or even Harper could, you know, blast through and get a huge run. And he could get a freaking touchdown. Which, ugh. 
See, one play. That's all it took. And this is why our uh, rushing defense sucks. It's because of big plays like that. They... They tend to happen... You know, it's like we play a good defensive game against the run, and then it'll be, you know, you're bound to see at least one of those per game where they'll just bust through. All right, Blount, you know, it's it's nut cutting time here. You go, it, it balls in your hands here, fourth quarter, three minutes left, big divisional game, four first place, no pressure. Once we got a nice run there. I am going to be fairly conservative here. Because, you know, the, the, it's been tough to make plays in the passing game. Not just because Blount is the quarterback, but they've always been covered. Oh, he was open too. Shit. The defenders came through. The ball was up, hung up in the air for too long. Oh, man, I thought we were going to get it back too right there. So here it is. Like I said, nut cutting time. We're up five, fourth quarter. Game is for first place. Defense has to step up. Oh, fuck, I missed him. Oh, that one hurts. All right, so again, though, they have to get a touchdown. Everybody's covered. Nothing happening there. All right, two more, t well, three more plays. I think I might have called this one. I did. Get him. Nice sack by pair. Nice job by the defense getting that penetration. Third and long. I called a shotgun. It is a shotgun. And it is the shotgun. No sack, but a forced incompletion. Now it's fourth and 17. Come on, D, just one time here. And they are handing it off to Peyton. All we have to do is just not let him break through, and we did not let him break through. He's about nine yards short. So that's it. They, we just got to run out the clock here. Not guaranteed. Especially the way, you know, the fumbles and everything, they got their timeouts. Or they have, you know, they took their last one, but... Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. All right, letting this one tick. Ready, down, hunt, hunt, hunt. And there's a first. Not even gonna let them get a chance at a fumble. Huge win, absolutely momentous. Monumental, whatever you want to call it. The gigantic, titanic, massive victory in the division uh, over our big foe, the Bears. 15 to 10, it was a slugfest. They got the big plays from, uh, uh, from Harper and Peyton to give them their two scores. One of them was, was the Harper run. Uh, and he actually outran Peyton. But... Got 169 yards rushing, which was more yards than either of us had in any particular category. Um, <laughs> look at the passing yards 45 and 48. Just, uh, yeah, there wasn't a lot to be had through the air. These games have been pretty tough to move the ball through the air, uh, the last few weeks. It's, the weather's getting colder. It's not, it's, it's kind of, you know, I don't think it's actually part of the game um, but it's, it te it's it's seeming to be realistic in that sense like I said I don't think it's part of the actual mechanics of the, of, of the video game but it's the way it feels so I'm gonna roll with it so 15 to 10 we win it doesn't seal up the division but you know we control our own destiny and I think that you know we're in really good shape to make that happen so Packers uh, lose to the Lions, the Broncos lose to the Oilers, the Giants lose to the Cardinals, the Redskins lose to the Bills, and that will do it for week number 12.
um, you know, even though it says week 15. All right, so we at Washington, St. Louis. They played their game. I think everybody's even <clears throat> and have played their 12 games. So Dolphins are way up ahead of the Jets. In fact, even though the Tecmo isn't wrecking, the, the game isn't recognizing that the Dolphins have won the division because they're thinking of it in terms of a 16 game schedule. It's only 14, but Dolphins have won the division. Um, that ten and two, they will have, and they will have a bye too for sure. Because look at this, the Steelers are six and six, and only one game over ahead of all these three teams. They all have a shot at the division. This is like the uh, the NFC South last year, where everybody pretty much sucked. Um, except this division is actually not as bad as that division. Everybody's kind of, everybody's just fair, mediocre as opposed to everybody blowing. Chiefs are up two games over the Raiders and Seahawks. I don't, you know. It looks like with that point differential, uh, you know, barring... Although, if they were to lose out and either the Raiders and Seahawks win out, that differential differential might shift. Although, it doesn't look like the Seahawks are in any position to do that. Chiefs pretty much have that division. And the same is true for the Cowboys, who have a, you know, a wider point differential, although not by a lot, over the Giants. But they still have to lose out while the Giants win out. And on our end, you know, I think it's just simply win a game. Um, and we should have the central because that point differential is a lot wider than what the Bears have. So I don't think they can win on a tiebreak by points. It's very, you know, we'd have to get murdered in two games for that to happen. Can't say that it won't happen. Won't say that it can't happen. Uh, but... It's very unlikely. And then meanwhile, the Rams have this division for sure because there's only two games left. And they're three up over the Saints. So that will do it for Week 12. We've got two games left. Um, we've got the Saints in Week 16 and the Cardinals in Week 17. Well, that's really 13 and 14. Um, Cardinals are four and eight. Saints are six and six. So neither of our opponents have a winning record, but you can't let that, you know, distract you from the fact that they are uh, also an NFL team, and they anybody can win on any given Sunday. We've learned that the hard way before, so we're not going to learn it again. So that's it for this week. We're at the home stretch. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week when we continue this.